So the OnePlus 13 is here and it's more powerful than ever. And if you've just got one or you're thinking about getting one, you'll like this video because I'm gonna show you 15 of the best Oxygen OS 15 tips and tricks that you need to see. Because that way you'll know what the OnePlus 13 can do. And if you do have one, you'll be confident knowing that you're using its full potential. Okay, so when you get a new OnePlus phone, you'll probably want to personalize it a little with a custom wallpaper. And the wallpaper options have improved on Oxygen OS 15. Check this out, go to settings, wallpaper and style, more themes, and there are a lot of templates here to play with. And I'm gonna demo the Pulse one for you. And I'm not gonna use the one that looks like it says fart. <laughs> And that's definitely a bad choice of photo that they've used on this one too. So let's skip that one and let's go with this game on template. Now, once you've selected it here, if you tap wallpaper, you can add your own image from your photo album and it will isolate parts of the image that can be brought forward. So you kind of get this depth effect. You can customize the text, change the colors and change the clock style and even add a weather and step count widget underneath the clock if you want. And I do like these styles because the clock and the text that you use here seamlessly carry over to the always on display. So the OnePlus 13 is a big phone and Oxygen OS has a few settings that you should enable on day one to help you reach the top. To use these, go to settings, accessibility and convenience, one-handed mode, and switch this on. And now when you quickly swipe down on the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen, the entire screen shifts downwards so you can more easily reach the top. Now here's the first bonus tip in this video. If we go back one step, you'll see the option to enable glove mode. With this on, even if it's so cold you can't feel your face, but you do have a pair of gloves with you, you can still operate your phone with your gloves on. Anyway, moving on. Here's a more well-hidden trick that will improve one-handed use even more. Go to settings, home screen and lock screen. And here you should see icon pull down gesture. With this enabled, you can slide your thumb from either side on the lower part of the display and select an app in a single move. This is great because it's less effort, less time taken, and you achieve the same result. And that is a winning strategy for life, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, and a side note, don't try and swipe from the corner because that will wake Gemini. Now, before AI gets its hands on quantum computers and takes over the world, we should probably use it to our advantage while we can. And Oxygen OS 15 does have a couple of tools that are switched off by default. So here's how to unlock them. Go to settings, accessibility and convenience, and then you should see screen recognition here. With this enabled, you can screenshot anything you can then extract the text and even the images that might be embedded on the website and then store them in your own personal file doc and then at any time you can bring your file doc back within any app and then add these extracts to your own work as if you made it yourself. Okay, I'm joking, don't do that, but you get the idea, this is a very powerful tool. Now here are a couple more powerful AI tools that you can use on your OnePlus phone. Next time you're on a website and it's full of ads and filler text, if you swipe out your sidebar, you'll see the AI speak and AI summary options. So if you want to listen to what's on that webpage, you can do that with AI speak. And the great thing about this is it continues to play even when you navigate away from the web browser and even when your phone is locked or even in your pocket. But if you prefer to get to the point faster, you can use AI summaries. This is a great way to avoid all of the ads and the filler text and it will help you save time, which is important because as you know, nobody can give you a time back. Writing can be challenging, even more so when you have a hangover and you need to email your boss to get a day off work. Thanks to Oxygen OS 15's AI writing tools, it's no longer that challenging. Here's how to use this new tool. Open Gmail or OnePlus's own notes app, bring out your sidebar, and here you should see the AI writer tool. Tap on that and you can get it to write for you by just providing a brief description of what you need. And if you wanna write it out yourself, you can use this to spell check and grammar check your writing or even take what you've written and get it to rewrite it for you in a number of different ways. So guys, remember to thank me later when you're chilling at home with your feet up watching TV on a work day. <laughs> because now you know how to use Oxygen OS AI to get a day off work. But seriously though, use this tool wisely and it will help you. So this next setting is a power user tip and once again is switched off by default and unconfigured on day one. So let me show you how to get this up and running properly. Go to settings, accessibility and convenience and here you'll see quick launch. Switch this on. Now once you've enabled this on this page, hit edit and scroll through the functions and app options that you have here and try and choose the ones that you usually take you some time to find. Now, once you've done that, next time you unlock your phone with your fingerprint, keep your thumb or finger 
pressed on the sensor until the phone unlocks. And when the phone unlocks, you'll see the quick launch options appear. You can now just slide your thumb or finger to one of the quick launch options that you've set up. And there you go, you can now do any of these things more quickly. Okay, so you've seen me use the dock several times in this video. Now let me show you how to personalize it. While on your home screen, swipe out the dock. It's this little bar on the side of the screen. Now hit edit. And here you can add apps and tools that you don't want visible on the home screen all the time, but you might find useful from time to time. And you can add several of these because the sidebar is actually scrollable. But a little word of advice, Hold fire on adding more than 10 at this point in time, and this will make sense when you see the next tip. Go to settings, accessibility and convenience, split view, and enable the three finger swipe. Now something to remember about this gesture is a three finger swipe down will still screenshot, but a three finger swipe up will begin the split view. Once you use this, you can then choose the second app that you want to open on the split view. And once set up, you can touch the line at the center to resize the split just by dragging it up and down. And if you tap the line, you can swap the sides of the split. And if you tap the little star that you see here, it will save this app group to your home screen. Now remember how I said not to add more than 10 apps at this point in time on the sidebar. That's because now that you've created this app group, when you bring out your sidebar and hit edit, you can actually add this newly created group to the sidebar. And if you have less than 10 apps already on there, it will appear near at the top. So if split screening is something you're gonna do a lot, it might be a good idea to spend a bit of time setting up your app combos, creating them, and then adding them to the sidebar. So there's a couple more ways to enter split view if the three finger technique isn't your cup of tea. One way is to drag out an app from the sidebar onto the home screen and then choose your second app the same way. Another way is to open your backgrounding apps and then hit the three dots next to the app icon and you'll see the option to split screen here. But something else that you really need to know is how to use floating windows. So in the same way that I just showed you to split screen, if you open up your backgrounding apps and hit the three dots, you'll see the option here for floating window. When you use this, the window will stay on top of whatever it is you're doing in the background and it can be minimized and recalled at any time by hitting the three dots at the top of the floating window. Okay, so this is kind of crazy, but did you know that the OnePlus 13's display is not running its optimal settings by default? So you might wanna change that, and if you do, Here's how to do it. Go to settings, display and brightness. Here, enable image sharpener. Also enable video color boost. But most importantly, go to the screen resolution settings and set it to high. And if you really want the screen to be running at its very best, at the cost of some battery, you could set your refresh rate to high as well. That will lock it in at 120 hertz. And once you've done that, you'll now be seeing the OnePlus 13 display running with its best possible settings. The speakers on the OnePlus 13 straight out of the box sound great, but you can actually make them sound better if you do this. Go to settings, sound and vibration. Here you will see hollow audio, enable this. So this essentially is a clever bit of software that can emulate sound coming from different directions and it actually works and it makes the phone sound great. And if you want to, you can get creative and you can set this to custom and reposition specific device sounds to come from different directions of your choosing. <laughs> It's actually very impressive how good the directional sound is on this phone. So this is just a fun one that you might want to use from time to time when your hands are full. Check this out, go to settings, accessibility and convenience. Here go to gestures and motions. Now on this page, there are a ton of features to play around with, but this one is quite unique. Go to air gestures and enable air control. Now with this on, you can use your hand gestures to answer calls from a distance. And if someone calls you and you ain't got time for that, you can tell them to talk to the hand and that will hang up the call for you. Now I couldn't make this video without showing you at least a few camera tricks on the OnePlus 13. And just know the OnePlus 13's camera is an absolute beast. And if you're interested in seeing how the OnePlus 13 and 13R cameras stack up against the mighty iPhone 16 Pro Max, make sure you're subscribed with your notifications on because I am making that video and it's definitely gonna be an interesting one. Anyway, let me show you this AI camera stuff. With a picture open in your photo gallery, hit edit. Here you'll see the AI editor pop up. Now in this photo, there are two kind ladies who decided to photobomb me, which does kind of ruin the picture. So to fix this picture, if you hit AI eraser, you can either use the lasso 
the paint over or the remove people tool. I'm gonna to use the remove people tool because that automatically highlights any people in the image that have been detected by the AI on the phone. You can then tap on those areas to remove them. And it really is that easy. Okay, so here's a brand new AI image editing tool. If you've taken a photo through glass and there's reflections showing in the image on the glass, which you don't really want to be there, if you hit edit, go to AI editor again, you'll see the AI reflection eraser. Just tap that and the phone will clean up the image as if there was no reflections at all. This could be perfect for shots that are taken through a shop window or out of an airplane window, or if something's in a glass cabinet, for example. Now, let's say you've just upgraded to the OnePlus 13 and you have some old photos that you took on an old phone that were kind of grainy or blurry. There are some AI tools in the AI editor that can help you with those and actually improve the image quality quite a bit and breathe new life into them with Oxygen OS. So if it's a little bit blurry, use the unblur tool. And if it's a little bit grainy and low resolution, use the AI upscaler and the results might impress you. Okay, so you've made it all the way to the end. And thanks so much for sticking around this long. And of course, in usual what gear style, as a reward for staying to the end, I have some quick fire bonus tips for you guys. Go to settings, accessibility, gestures and motions. Here you'll see screen off gestures. There are a ton of shortcuts to use when your phone is actually off and the screen is black. So definitely take a look at these. And this little section at the bottom of this page, you can actually remap apps to open using these gestures if you want. Now, something I like here is the double tap to turn on and off the always on display. And this is something that I think should be switched on by default, but it isn't. So definitely switch this on. I think you'll like it. Number two. Now, since we're talking about always on display, you should probably know that the always on display is actually off by default. To switch it on, go to settings, wallpapers. Here you'll see always on display and you can enable it here. And you can also choose the style. I do like that seamless option personally. And while you're here, if you go to display settings, you can actually enable contextual info for the always on display. So this will show things like the music you're listening to. And actually this is interactive as well. So you can bring up the music controls from the always on display very quickly with this enabled. Number three. So this one you'll appreciate the most if you're the type of person who finds themselves in busy and noisy locations regularly. Go to settings sound and vibration. And here you should see clear voice. With this enabled, it will increase the noise suppression AI when you're on phone calls or conference calls. So this would improve your mic pickup in noisy environments and make your voice crystal clear. So this one's kind of just some camera advice. Open up your camera app, hit the three lines in the top right corner. Now you should see the camera settings, go to that. And then here you'll see composition assistance. On this page, I do recommend you enable the level for obvious reasons. And also I recommend you enable the grid so you can line up better photos. Number five. So the OnePlus 13 has a massive 6,000 milliamp battery, but charging it doesn't need to take a massive amount of time. And actually you can reduce the time if you do this. Go to settings, battery, charging settings and enable smart rapid charging. With this on, your OnePlus phone will now be able to charge at its fastest speeds and it will intelligently reduce the speeds when that faster speed is not needed. So this should speed things up nicely for you. So here are a couple of customization features that you might wanna play with. Go to settings, wallpaper and style. Here you'll see fingerprint animation. Now, if you don't want your fingerprint unlock animation to look like everyone else's, well, it doesn't have to be. There's definitely some fun ones here that I think you might like. Now, if you go back one step, you can also set up edge lighting for calls and notifications, which can be very useful if you're the type of person who often puts their phone on silent. Okay, last but not least, there's a little customization trick on OnePlus phones that allows you to rename any app to whatever you want it to be. And you can also customize the icon if you download an icon pack. To do this, just hold your finger on an app that you want to edit, hit edit, and then you can rename it. And on that note, it's time for me to go. I've got to make that OnePlus 13 versus iPhone camera comparison for you guys. If it's already finished by the time you're seeing this video, that thumbnail should be on screen right now. If it's not, just check out my latest uploads to see if it's there. And listen, if you want to dive even deeper into Oxygen OS features, check out my OnePlus Nord 4 video because I basically go into every single feature in that video. So you might want to check it out. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching this one. If you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man, and I will see you in the next one. So don't be late.